The stage group of artists chose to focus on the lives and the work of the villagers as their subject matter. They documented their lives and work in their paintings, and their paintings give us a sense of what it must have been like to live there 100 years ago. They give us a sense of what it looked like, but also how it felt as well. To be within a fishing community in a busy fishing industry. Now, each artist had a different way of portraying this. This painting of a fisherman at sea by Joseph Bagshaw is painted in dark, inky colours. It evokes a feeling of tension and menace. It really captures the sense of danger and hardship that these sailors regularly endured. And here we have a painting which helps us to understand the precarious nature of this industry and the constant jeopardy and vulnerability involved in this hazardous way of life. This is William Scott Hodgson's The Rowing Boat, and it uses a different style and different medium to Bagshaw, yet it too has effectively portrayed the perils of working in the unpredictable and stormy seas off the coast of northern England. He's using oil paint, and his brushstrokes describe the swell of the sea, and the choice of colours describe the churned up water coming over the side of the boat. Certainly no place that you want to find yourself in. A very dangerous place to work. Now back on dry land and in contrast we have this beautiful watercolour painting by Dame Laura Knight entitled Mending Nets. Here we have an older gentleman who's in the process of mending nets. Maintenance was obviously an important thing within the fishing industry. Look at the concentration on his face as he's doing his job. Now what particularly interests me about this painting is the insight that it gives us into the clothes that people wore. The warm, functional clothes, layers of practical garments that would be essential to be able to survive the harsh weather on the northeast coast. But the hat, the hat is an interesting item. It suggests a Russian influence, possibly coming from the Scottish herring fleets that followed the shoals of herring down the coast. And Russia was a major market for their trade. This painting is also a great example of the style of clothing worn by the state's fishermen. Whereas Laura Knight painted her fishermen at work and concentrating hard, James Charles has chosen to represent his fishermen in a relaxed position, although saying that it doesn't look too comfortable in his pose. The painting shows the man in working clothes, this demonstrates the practicality and functional nature of his garments. The choppy brush strokes and dour colours help to emphasise this. In contrast, this light watercolour sketch of an old fisherman looking out into the distance is a more uplifting and romanticised interpretation of the fishing industry. The lightness of the image conjures up the feeling of a breezy summer day. If you were to paint or draw people working in industry, how would you represent them? Would you choose to capture them in action at work, or at rest, or at play? And what medium would you use? Would you use flowing watercolours, or the quick brush marks of oil paints or acrylics, or perhaps a linear monochrome drawing in pencil or charcoal? Have a go, try everything and see what works best for you.